hello guys how you doing for me i'm doing very great thank you for coming back and if you have not yet subscribed kindly kindly subscribe and don't forget to ring the notification bell and also if you had a beautiful day today kindly comment on the section bar and don't forget to click the like button so today i'm going to teach you how you should end your how you should end your cornrows okay so i'm going to start on how to section it as you check i'm section it in partition to be this the front part should be bigger one and then at the end it should be a smaller size okay sometimes sometimes i find it so easy doing this style and i love sharing what i know the best this one this one is my talent i I don't practice it at salons, but I just practice it at home. I just do it at my own pace. I just like doing this at my own free time. At my, at my own leisure time, I just love doing this. And that's why I bought this money, this doll, to be doing my, my, my tutorials. So I decided, let me share with my friends how to, how to do some condos using natural hair. And a bit of what I know. So... Here we go. I'm going to start with the front part. I'm going to bring the hair together there behind her, and then I hold it with my clip. I decided to buy the, a new clip. I never had a clip. I used to use a rubber band and a hair band, so I bought a new clip. The big one, the big one is better one because it captures all the hair into one. So that when I capture this hair, it won't, I want to be, I want to borrow the hairs from the, from the, <coughs> from the, uh, I want to borrow hair from the ones which have clip. Because when I borrow hair from the ones which have clip, my work will look so and and dirty, it will not look clean. I'm going right down to this to the hair, the hairline. Make sure that if the customer has uh, or the person you are plating has baby hair, please don't pick those baby hairs. Don't don't strain those baby hairs, please. You'll make that person have a bald patches on his hair, his or her head. They'll have a bad patches. So pick the where there's a lot of hair. Start them. Please don't pick the small unless if you're going to start with the. Baby hairs, please don't tighten them. Please do not tighten them. So I'm going to start with the three strands. I'm going to use my fingertips to hold down to the scalp. Down to the scalp, not to the root hairs, down to the scalp so that you can cannot uproot the hair. So just down to the scalp where the hair starts with that one which is contact with the skin and the, the skin, the hair that is contact with the skin is the one which you're going to pinch with your fingertips and then when you're planting please slide it slide it slide it or just go down to the scalp if not sliding it as in sliding just go down to the scalp pinch to the scalp and then flow like that don't don't go straight straight up up like you're doing braids no just downwards just follow the line the section that you have used and then we have started from the start is there you're going to end it. So you're going to do it to the scalp. Pinch it to the scalp. Flow like that to the scalp. Don't, 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 don't straighten it. Just to the scalp. This person of mine has a lot of hairs. I'm grateful for this person. Uh, because this person, I just use it at my leisure time. When I'm free, I just pick this hair, just do my thing, just learn new styles with it, the ones which I don't know. And the ones which I know, I just share it with you because when you get to know the the condro, you'll get to do any style that you want. Any any partitioning of style that you want to partition, a flower, any design that is on your head and you want it to implement it on somebody's head. If you get to know about this Condros, how to do condros, it will be easy for you to do many styles that you want to do, many styles that a customer wants to do, or many styles that you want to do butterfly, love hearts, name them zigzag, 
you'll know how to design your own hairstyle or customers hairstyles desires when you know how to do the cornrow just learn how to get it from the scalp to pleat it down downwards and how to end it because the ending also matters because when you end it any how the, hmm, your work will just look pathetic so if you don't want your work to look pathetic please do it as desired as you can see mine has ended very beautifully if i'm going to do end it like this one but the second one will not end like this so the second one will a bit end upper a little bit upper because i have not uh section it here down the way it should be sectioned it. when you section it to the desired section like bigger smaller smaller till to the nape of the neck then you'll get something beautiful so this one i'm going to show you when it is not well sectioned you'll see how it will go into and it will go to end a little bit higher a little bit lower than the first line okay let me show you be keen on how I'm, you see how I'm, I'm adding hair when you had hair like that by taking and adding you're not going to have a good ending don't do what i've done don't pinch and add pinch then add no just pinch it when you're continuing to plate because when you do that is when you're going to have a beautiful flow even if you'll just pick one strand that one is better off than picking many strands and then having a bad ending Watch it, yeah, like that. closely how i'm going to do there at the end it may not be so much clear but at least the hair is a lot as you can see the second hair was not a lot but this one is a bit many many much many. it's a lot i'm going to pick bit by bit adding it to the adding it to the section to the the plenty to the one which are with the one which have to the one which i've held with my fingertips i'm going to add bit by bit just watch it closely how i'm doing it i'll be doing it in slow motion so that you can see what i'm doing i'm not going to add more hair to it i'm going to add a little you see i've picked a little hair then made a knot added the hair to it i'm going to add hair to this one that i've hold Kindly do not forget to subscribe or if you have not yet subscribed, kindly just subscribe. 
and water to the end so that you can be able to see how I'm going to finish it till to the neck of the neck. Just watch closely how I'm going to finish it just to the neck of the neck. And then from there, it's going to reach until 12.2, 12.26. 12 there where I'll reach and you can see if you want to skip it you can skip to that point but now check it how I'm going to end it picking it bit by bit look at that one that's a small piece but I'm going to divide it into three that one should come out three pieces that's small size I'm going to do it three times check that's the first one. The first one. 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 See one. It's a very small one. Right? So that it can go straight to the neck of the neck. Okay. Then I'm going to do the second one. Watch closely. The second one. Have you seen it? Just a small one. That one is the third one. So when I come here back to, to the back part, I'm going to use those small scissors that you have seen me taking then I'll finish up with them I'm going to do it I guess it's the fourth one four times okay that's the third one then the fourth one and finish up with that on the fourth one to be the last one there so that it can go and then I'll not lift it until I finish to the scalp I finish it down to the scalp very well so that it can be firm when they're behind is firm then your whole line is going to be firm. The whole control will be will going to be firm and strong. Remember, do not over tighten it because when you over tighten it, you're going to lead to hair loss. So don't over tighten it. As you can see, I've formed a curve until to the back, to the nape of the neck. I've formed a curve from big to until the behind to the smaller size. Uh, it should be like a half of what you have started with. Should, the backward, the back, the back, the back hair should be a little small, like a half of the front hair that I have divided. It should be not of the same size so that you can have a beautiful ending you know when you stretch it's going to be smaller and then as you continue here in the middle is going to be a lot of hair so it is going to be a bit bigger it will go be a bit thick yeah it is going to be a bit thick because there it there is a lot of hair in this part a lot of hair that hair will go until to the behind which is going to add up to this small hair that you had sectioned it to smaller size than the the beginning even than the middle part the middle part is a lot of hair than the front part and than the back part so your hair from the back from the back to the center to the front should not be of the same size let's say from the front to the center to the back should not be of the same size so there should be three different sizes as you can see i'm using my fingertips i'm not removing my fingertips that when i I lift the other hand. I'm making sure the left hand is down to the scalp, holding the hair down to the scalp. And then, as the other one moves, removes the, uh, as the other one removes the tangled hair, the other one remains down to the scalp. See, the left, the re left hand I've removed. I've remained with the right hand holding down the. Check it out. The, the right hand is detangling the hair when the left hand is holding the hair and then you find that the left hand is holding up the head into position to the position that you want the person to stay so i'll continue that to until to the end whereby i'll not lift my fingertips i'll just continuing continue plating down to the scalp down to the nape of the neck using the size that i showed you the smaller size that i showed is that which i'm using I'm using also my middle finger to hold on to the hair, to the, to the control. 
you see that's how i plait my hair just standing on the, the left side so that i can finish with the right side when i'm done with the right side i come to the right side so that i can plain the left side that's how it or either way i can stand behind and do it like that and i'll make sure that it's so firm and strong as you can see it's very firm and strong you see that that one has a bump it has a bump because i lifted my fingers check closely when you check closely you see how my endings are the first one the first one looks very funny thank you guys for watching this channel and if you're new here kindly subscribe and if you have not if you are not new here and you have not subscribed kindly subscribe till we meet again bye bye